Hey there everyone, it's me Ellen aka Ickle Nelly Rose and I'm here to talk about street harassment! Yay! Now, this is something I never thought that I would ever talk about in a video but I came across another video called Dear Men Street Harassment Sucks and it was a very good video in my opinion. The thing is it got a lot of really negative feedback and I felt that um, this negative feedback kind of came from a very either ignorant place because they not watched the whole video obviously or it you know it was just people not understanding what she was talking about and not relating to it. I just wanted to kind of address some of this kind of stupid comments in there and uh, just give a little bit of a rebuttal. Let's go. So it's harassment to pay a girl a compliment is it? N no no it's it's not just what is said it's what's said alongside it, how it's said and body language. For example if you want to tell a girl that she's beautiful you can go in many different ways. I'll just give you one example of a good way and a bad way to do it. Good way. Hi sorry sorry to disturb you um I, I hope you won't take offence at this but um I just saw you from across the room and I just have to say that I thought you looked really beautiful. Bad way. You right, love? Looking beautiful today. Can you notice the difference? Oh, just take a damn compliment. So I'm supposed to be flattered that a guy is talking to, no sorry, at me. Not like he wants to get inside my brain, but more like he just wants to get inside my pants. I'm sorry, but being seen as just a piece of meat rather than as a whole person is not a compliment. It's because society forces men to make the first move. Sometimes it does, yes, but that tradition is slowly changing and I think that's a good thing. But by loudly acting as if they have to make the first move, those guys are only reinforcing that pressure upon themselves. Also, my boyfriend did happen to make the first move, but he didn't do it by shouting, Oi! Nice ass! across the street. Guys get harassed too, what are you complaining about? Yes, guys get harassed too and this girl isn't saying they're not. That video is just her talking from her own experience as a woman on the receiving end of attention from guys. Just because she doesn't mention something explicitly doesn't mean she doesn't think it happens. Just because men are also victims, it doesn't mean women aren't allowed to complain when it happens to them. We should all be working together against this kind of stuff, not turning it into some stupid gender war. Not all guys are like that. True. And the girl never said that. So many comments were on the why is it called dear men? Stop generalizing us. But they completely missed the point that it was called dear men because she was addressing all men in two separate groups. She was talking to the guys who are harassers and saying, hey, you might not think what you're doing is creepy, but it is. Then she turned around to the guys who weren't harassers and said, hey, if you see this kind of stuff happening, please stand up against it. Please tell them to stop. She never said that all men are like that. Not every guy who says stuff like that is going to do anything. Look, when someone is saying suggestive things about our bodies and leering at us in a predatory way that seems to suggest that they would like to do sexual things to us, especially when they're doing that side to side thing and looking you up and down so they can check you out from all different angles, forgive us for feeling a little uncomfortable. Especially when they keep saying stuff even though you're responding negatively or look extremely uncomfortable. And even more so if they sometimes follow you down the street. Some said, oh, it never leads to anything and hopefully most of the time it doesn't, but I know for a fact that it does sometimes. Well, if you go out wearing eye-catching clothing, you're gonna get comments. I am sick of hearing this stupid argument. Women are constantly told to look good and fit in with society's ideals of beauty and to be sexy and confident. And then if we're sexually harassed or abused, we're told it's our fault because of the way we looked. What? When I was 13, I was walking along the street in my school uniform and some boy started following me down the road saying all these compliments. He then grabbed my ass, and when I whacked his hand away and said, don't touch me, he said, well, you shouldn't have worn that skirt. I wasn't wearing that skirt to show off or to invite strangers to come and touch me. I was wearing it because loads of other girls at school wore that type of skirt, and I wanted to fit in with them. It was his decision to do what he did, not mine. I want to hear people go on and on about clothes, but earlier this year I was creeped on whilst wearing this. 
I was sitting in a train station and I noticed two guys making very suggestive faces at me, winking at me, pursing their lips, whilst whispering and laughing to each other. A few seconds later, it dawned on me as to why this was happening when I saw their eyes dart down to the long cylindrical wrap that I was eating. I guess going by the it was the outfit logic that it was my fault that they were creeping on me because I chose a wrap rather than a sandwich and it's got nothing to do with the fact that they're total creeps. This victim blaming argument also implies that men can't resist. Well, you know what? I know loads of men who can resist and loads of men who don't even need to. Give men some credit and stop giving excuses to the arseholes of this world. And finally, in slightly different lighting because my footage got corrupted. Oh, you should just deal with it or learn to stand up for yourself. Well, you know what? I've been dealing with it since the age of about 12. This is something women deal with every single day we do learn to stand up for ourselves whether it's giving them a look telling them to sod off or going on the internet and telling them hey that's not cool but the thing is none of those things are a solution to the problem the real solution is if people would just stop being creeps and also men don't be afraid of going up to a woman and asking her out or anything like that not everyone's gonna think you're a creep some people take compliments in the wrong way, but as long as you put yourself across well and are polite and considerate, you'll be fine. If you do all that and they still don't like what you say, then maybe they're not the person for you. Anyway, thanks for watching and let's work hard to stop street harassment of both sexes because, to put it lightly, it's not cool. <laughs>